I don't want to go back to Slack. I want to keep yeah. talking to you. Okay. Hey guys, Ben here from Huckberry, coming to you from our gear lab in our Austin offices. And for today's episode, I'm excited. We're gonna be talking through one of the newest additions to the Flint and Tinder lineup, a fall favorite, the Flannel Line Wax Hudson Jacket. And to help me do so, I'm very excited, our special guest, we've got Grace from the Flint and Tinder team. Yeah, thanks Ben. Hey guys. So today we're gonna walk through six of the most frequently asked questions we get from you guys before purchasing the Wax Hudson. We've got the expert in Grace. So you ready to dive in, nerd out on some products? Let's do it, yeah. So question number one, what is the inspiration behind this jacket? I think it's it's relatively obvious. This jacket takes some inspiration from a vintage hunting jacket, if you will. But yeah. I know there's been a lot of intention behind the design with you and the Flint and Tinder team and how to modernize that. Tell us a little bit more about the design. Definitely. Yep. So it's, as Ben mentioned, it's take on a hunting jacket. So very heritage style but we made a modernized fit to it, which is awesome. So hunting jackets typically are a little bit bulkier, not as flattering, a lot of room in the arms. We trimmed it down in the best way, so it's still really flattering. Nice fit, but you still have room to layer. So um, taking a modern spin on that traditional silhouette. So question number two, what is this jacket made of? How is it constructed? Um, as we mentioned, obviously taking inspiration from a vintage hunting jacket, mm -hmm. it's got that classic wax silhouette, yeah. but there's a lot more that goes into it. Give us a little mm -hmm. background on sort of the construction details. Definitely, yeah. Bunch of cool stories here, lots of different types of fabric. We start with the fact that it's cut from waxed canvas from British Millerin. This mm -hmm. is really cool heritage, tying to that story of the heritage hunting jacket. They've been around since the 1800s, sixth generation um, factory, and they make it um, still today in the UK. So really cool heritage there. That also ties in the heritage in the wool trim. This is from this, one of the oldest UK Wool mills still operating today, also from the 1800s. So tons of heritage in the wax and the trim. And then on top of that, it's lined with flannel for extra coziness, warmth, um, and softness on your skin. And that flannel is not only through the body, mm -hmm. but all the way through the arm. Definitely. Well. Yeah, so you could throw this over a tee, wear it also with sweaters, but no matter what, if your skin on on the flannel there, you're gonna be super cozy and warm. Just to pause quick and talk mm -hmm. a little bit more about the wax, because that's obviously the hero to any yeah. hunting jacket, any wax jacket. You talked about British Millerine, mm -hmm. which is, Iconic OG, yep. they're legit. Mm -hmm. um, but the wax that we use from them on this jacket mm -hmm. is actually an updated take on it. Yep. I think you call it a Tex, tex Wax? Yeah, Tech Wax. Tex yeah. Wax. Tech, tech Wax. Got it. <laughs> We're living in Texas, but it's Tech Wax. Yeah. Got it. So we use Tech Wax, which is really cool. It has more longevity between those waxes. So when you own a wax jacket, it's just part of the job. You know, you, you add that love in and you wax it, you know, to keep that water resistance, nice and strong. Um, we don't need to do that as much with tech wax. So you can go longer between waxes, stay waterproof if you're caught in a storm, um, keep that drizzle on your shoulders, you'll be fine. Question number three is, what's the difference between the Hudson wax jacket from Flint and Tinder and the flannel lined wax trucker from mm -hmm. Flint and Tinder? Yeah. They obviously are in the same family. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit more about the the difference in the two, mm -hmm. other than the obvious. Yeah, exactly. So flannel line, which we love, has a very similar wax patina to it, so that rugged look you still definitely get in this jacket. What's really great about it is that it has that more modern silhouette. It's a little bit longer, it's a little bit more refined. You can kind of dress this up in a way um, that flannel line doesn't necessarily hit. So you've got that pop collar with the wool trim under there. You've got a ton of style details. So there's wool inside, there's a corduroy trim up into the pockets. Um, and then we've got a ton of storage. So you've got the front dual entry pocket, so from the top to the bottom. You've got a back game pocket, which is paying tribute to the traditional hunting jacket, also great for storage. Um, and then within it, as we mentioned, there's the flannel lining. So you've got those three different types of fabrics really playing well against each other and adding for that really nice style play. It is uh, just the silhouette, obviously, mm -hmm. and the length. Mm -hmm. It is more tailored. Yeah. yeah. So as you said, mm -hmm. can dress it up a little bit more. Definitely. That length also, mm -hmm. it's the same weight as flannel line wax trucker, which is important, yeah, right? Like really it's the similar. same weight in mm -hmm. wax, it's the same weight in the flannel. Yeah. But that extra length just from how I've worn it, it does yep. feel a little bit warmer just mm -hmm. as you get a little extra coverage. Definitely. Um, Definitely. So they certainly play in the same space, mm -hmm. but the biggest difference is the silhouettes and yeah. like how you wear them, not necessarily Definitely. different seasons. Exactly. Yeah. A hundred percent. Question number four. Uh, and a very important question, a very prominent question that we get with any piece of waxed outerwear 
is how do you take care of it? How do you clean it? Mm -hmm. You mentioned the waxing, obviously, yeah. like that's the most obvious, like the more that you wear it mm -hmm. and this lasts longer, but yeah. eventually you will want to re-wax it. That yeah. extends the life, the waterproofness. Definitely. What about cleaning wax? Mm -hmm. Don't want to yeah. throw this in the washing machine, right? Yeah, yeah. You don't want to throw wax in the washer. Just spot clean this guy, um, take a rag, clean it when you see some stains, but big benefit of wax is you get that patina, you get that look that makes it your jacket. So your jacket tells a story, um, wear that patina, wear those stains well. Yeah, wear the stains well, <laughs> like, embrace the stain. Embrace the stain. Yes. So question number five that we often get is how weatherproof is this and, and where do you wear it? What season do you wear it in? Let's start with the weatherproofness, if you will. We mm -hmm. obviously talked about the wax yep. and what that does from a weather water resistance. Mm -hmm. yep. This isn't fully waterproof, yep. but it does add protection from the elements, 100%. right? 100%, yeah, yeah. So this is water resistant. So water resistant just means if you're caught in a drizzle, it's gonna be right off their shoulders. The more often you wax it, you know, that stronger that's gonna be. So just keeping it up to date with the wax and keeping it water resistant is gonna be really important for your wear and care of this jacket. Wax cotton canvas actually originated in the 1800s for fishermen and sailors to protect them from the elements. So think of it in that similar kind of use case. Yeah, you're not gonna submerge it in water. Totally, not gonna go scuba diving, but wear it on a boat. If you go scuba diving <laughs> with the wax Hudson, send us some photos. Call us, yeah. and we will pay for those images. <laughs> Let, let's briefly talk about sort of the temperature range and kind of when you wear this. Mm -hmm. I own this jacket. I love it. No surprise. Yep. Um, I wear this, you know, when I'm back home in Maine and mm -hmm. it's, let's say, low 40s in early winter. And yep. I put on a hardy sweater, a sweatshirt, plenty warm. Um, but also, to your point with that flannel lining especially, this is super comfortable with a t-shirt, which makes it mm -hmm. more than just like a fall winter jacket. It's, it's pretty versatile and it really comes down to where you are mm -hmm. and how you're gonna layer it, right? Yeah, d definitely. Depending on how hot you run, low 40s, upper 60s, this is your fall winter workhorse. Um, you can even rock it in the spring for that extra wind protection. So the sixth and final question, a very important one, is how does the waxed Hudson jacket fit? You're about to find out. Oh, <laughs> surprise, it <laughs> fell on me. So I'm wearing an extra large right now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm wearing a corduroy button down, so mm -hmm. a mid-weight. Yep. I've got plenty of room still. I mean, I could easily zip this up. I could definitely yep. get another layer underneath. Mm -hmm. I could swap this out for a heavy sweater or sweatshirt. Yep. So this would definitely be the size I would mm -hmm. wear yep. if I was in colder temperatures and layering a lot. I'm 6'2", mm -hmm. 215 on a good day. Um, I also own a large in this jacket. Mm -hmm. I'm in more moderate climates and mm -hmm. I run warm yeah. and I typically just wear a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. And so I actually can get away with a large and perfectly fine zipping it up. It's a yep. little more tailored. Mm -hmm. So if you're between sizes, you're gonna layer, size yep. up. Yep. Um, if you want a more tailored look, you yep. want a more slimming look, yep. which I often do, yep. you can size down. Yep. But this jacket generally runs true to size, is that yeah, accurate? Yeah. yeah, I would just, I would stick to your normal size, but if you do want that option to layer, you can size up. Um, it does have a classic traditional fit. Cool. So there you have it, the flannel lined wax Hudson jacket from Flint and Tinder. Grace, your insights, incredibly helpful. One more opportunity. Yep. Tell anyone who doesn't own the flannel lined wax trucker why they need this in their closet this fall. Definitely. Look cool, don't try. <laughs> Boom, <laughs> mic drop. There we go. The flannel lined wax Hudson from Flint and Tinder. Look cool, don't try. I think that's about as good as it gets. So. Pocket for snacks. <laughs> Pocket for snacks. There's the final most important detail. We're going to end on that. But if you've got additional questions about the flannel lined waxed Hudson jacket, make sure to drop them in the comments. We'll make sure to answer them. Also, please do us a favor, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to be doing this a lot more, talking more products, answering more of your questions. Grace, you're going to come back, wrap on some more Flint and Tinder gear this season. Oh yeah. But until then, we will see you out there. Bye guys. You do it too soon. You got fit and then throw. He obviously wasn't a point guard in the high school yeah, basketball you team. Numbers, though. Well, uh, that was there wasn't Pep. <laughs> no, 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 that was my okay. usual. I felt like I had Pep in that one. I know, I man. More. I got more. Hey guys. Ben here. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta give everyone a pause. Everyone's still laughing.